How's everybody doing? All right. uh, Coach, how do you feel like the team has responded uh, since the loss on Saturday? Um, you know, we just had a really good day. We really did. The energy was high and uh, focus was good. And um, for a, you know a Tuesday practice, I thought the execution was pretty solid too. So they came in ready and uh, they were focused and wanted to make sure that they can nail down this detail, the details of this plan. And I thought they did. Uh, you know, I thought they did a really good job today. When you looked over the game, uh, what was it that Kentucky was able to do, or maybe to yourself with the penalties that just took you out of the game plan that y'all really had in mind? Well, I just think that they challenged us. They challenged us at the line of scrimmage, and they challenged us on the perimeter. And um, you know, we weren't disciplined enough to our fundamentals. We weren't disciplined to our assignments. Um, you know, we got to give credit to them because they put the pressure on us, uh, but we just didn't respond the right way. You know, we didn't uh, we didn't execute at a high enough level. We said that before in here. Uh, it's critical that we continue to improve our execution, and when we got challenged a little bit there, we didn't respond necessarily the right way. Um, but uh, by no means is any of that uncorrectable and everything. So we're, we feel really good about you know where this team can go, its capabilities, and all that good stuff. So uh, we just got we have to execute better. We have to be more disciplined. We have to be more focused. Do you feel it was more of what Kentucky did, or what more you didn't do? I just think it was a lack of, uh, you know, I guess the word is focus. You know, I mean, when you have, when you do those types of things and have six false starts and, you know, the number of uh, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct fouls that we had, I think that's just a lack of focus. You know, what I mean, so uh, all, again, like I said, all, all all that stuff's correctable, and the way that those guys came in today, I'm really excited about, uh, you know, moving forward the rest of this week. Is it oversimplifying to say that you'd th look at other SEC teams or any team and think they might try to copy that blueprint? And attack you the same way, particularly with blocking or things like that? I mean, I'm sure I'm sure there's a lot to that. I think anytime somebody has the, the, the amount of success that Kentucky had against us, uh, that make, that would make total sense to do that. Uh, but on, on our half, you know, we feel like it's a it's a personal thing. It's a we got to look at ourselves, not necessarily what Kentucky did uh, schematically or anything like that. We had like, we had to be better fundamentally. We had to be more focused and disciplined and, uh, you know, we do that stuff, you know, we'll take care of uh, whatever opponent it is that's in front of us. Coach, obviously you don't have a connection to the previous staff, but your players do. So how do you kind of manage the emotional aspect of it this week? I mean, for me, it's just, you know, you got to take it like it's every, you know, another game. It's the next game. It's the most important game because it's the next game. I mean, that's, that's my focus. That's my approach. Uh, and, you know, that, that's the way we did it in Green Bay. I mean, it didn't matter if it was the NFC Championship game or if it was – Week two against Minnesota Vikings or week five against the Cleveland Browns. It didn't matter. The next game was the most important. And for me, that's been, you know, that's always going to be my motto. That's the way I'm going to approach this thing. And I know that there'll be some emotional things that you really won't feel until probably Friday or Saturday. Uh, but again, we lacked focus and discipline last week. So obviously, that's going to be a big focus of a, for us as a coaching staff to make sure that we get these guys dialed in the whole week. How much does it help or does it help at all that you both played one common opponent? Now you can look at how Florida and both of you played one team. Uh, honestly, that's your, it pro honestly irrelevant mm -hmm. um, because one, again, the first thing that's most important to us is us. You know, we have to take care of our own and, and do what we're supposed to do the way we're supposed to do it every single time. Um, the next thing is now you have to look at the opponent and say, okay, what, what challenges do they present? And obviously Florida has a, a lot of skilled athletes on their side, of the, especially on defense. And, and so we had different obstacles, you know, different obstacles, different, different challenges. Most importantly, we got to look at ourselves in the mirror and make sure we're taking care of our own. Todd Grantham has a really aggressive defense, and it lends itself to giving up big plays from time to time. Is that something you're going to look to attack this week? Yeah, I mean, nothing's changed with us, guys. We're going to be attacking. You know, I mean, that part of it is, you know, who we are. And so we're going to get back into that a little bit more. We're going to be, atta we're going to be attacking ourselves. And, again, that part of it, them being aggressive, that's us doing our responsibilities, our assignments the right way, the way we're supposed to do it every single time. And so if we do our job, we feel like, you know, whatever the defense will present to us, we should be able to handle it. And that's our, that's our job, to give our, def our, uh, our players the, their assignments and make sure that they're accountable to those assignments and make sure that they're focused and disciplined enough to be able to execute that stuff at a high level. From a coach's perspective, how much do you think it helps Florida that Dan Mullen coached a lot of these guys, recruited a lot of these guys, know some of their tendencies. What does that mean to you? Sure, I mean, I mean that definitely helps. I mean, we had a deal, we had a couple weeks ago with Coach Hud. You know, when you know the opponents as well as as he did, I think that that gives you you know somewhat of a you know at least an insight to you know what makes that guy tick or where his maybe his strengths and weaknesses are. Uh, but again, that's 
that is a part of it, maybe a little bit, but to me it's minuscule because this is, again, they're focused on what they need to do, I'm sure. They're not really you know, too worried about thinking about us, and we're not too, too worried thinking about them. we got to take care of our own, make sure we handle our assignments, make sure we do what we're supposed to do first. That, you know, that part of it is, uh, you know, they have maybe that little bit of advantage, but again, these guys, our players have the advantage of being underneath their scheme, so, you know, that part of it, and they've practiced against it a lot, so hopefully we can use that to our advantage.